Hey guys, welcome back. I have a tutorial for you today. I was really in the mood to do something really gothic and dramatic for Halloween or this time of year. I know a lot of you are looking for things to wear as kind of vampires or just goth in general, or if you're just into the goth look, I you can use this as well. I used a lot of black shadows, some purple shadows, some glitter, some black lipstick. So if you guys are interested in learning how I got this look and all the products that I use, then just keep watching. I started with Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my lid. We're going to take Max Blanc Type and we're going to use that as our highlight. Next, taking Max Copper Plate, I'm going to use that on a Sigma E40. Cats don't start with me. And we're going to put that in the crease. I'm going to use this as our transition shade. As a transition shade, copper plate's not going to be as forgiving as soft brown, so you have to be a little bit more careful with the placement on this or, you know, the actually the amount of product you use on your brush. You can take a black pencil, any black pencil will do, one that's going to set though, not, not stay wet. Don't use black bead my NYX because I feel like it slides during the day, so I'm going to use my Makeup Forever um, pencil, and this is in 10. We're just going to put that all over the lid. But you do want to move quickly with this because this will set. Exactly, Harley. This will set. Now I'm going to grab a pencil brush and I'm just going to blend that. You're going to do one eye at a time because if you try to do only... If you, if you do both eyes, it's going to set and then you're going to regret it. <laughs> See, it's already starting to set and I only let it sit for like 15 seconds. Now you don't need to do a base like this if you don't want to, but I feel like it gets that extra black look on your eyes. Now just grab a black eyeshadow and put that all over where you just put the black. I'm going to be using a Carbon by MAC. You can feel free to use any black eyeshadow you like. A lot of people seem to like Corrupt by Makeup Geek, but I don't have Corrupt. Or Sugar Pearl. I think it's Bulletproof. I'm sorry for the wild running around behind me, guys. That's the cats, and they're going insane. I think they've lost their minds. What are you guys doing back there? Now just grab a blending brush and slightly blend out the edges. I'm going to move to the lower lid for a minute with the pencil, and I'm just going to start on the lower lid with the pencil, as I just said. Put it on and smudge it out. I bring it down pretty far. I'm going to grab that same black and hit the lower lid with it now. Now you want a blending color for the lid. Um, I mean for the crease. So let's find one. I'm actually going to go for this dark, dark gray. This is Scoot by MAC. Take a little bit on the end of a blending brush. I'm right where the black kind of ends. Let's hit a little bit of the gray under here. Now I'm going to go for Vibrant Grape by MAC, which is just this bright kind of purpley color. And we're going to go right on the edge, right on the edge to add a little bit of color. Like, these eyes are supposed to be big and crazy, which is what's happening right now. <laughs> and right under the lower lid as well. Tight it on the bottom. Now I'm going all the way around. I'll add some into the center as well. Right in here. I'm going to grab that same pencil and I'm going to do tight lining. Because you don't want any fleshy bits showing. Yeah, I'm not having a lot of success with this pencil. Let me grab, let me grab my NARS Via Veneto because this is much creamier. And inside the waterline as well. Not that you really even need it at this point, but I'm going to load my lashes up with some black mascara. Just find the blackest mascara you can find. This is Perversion by Urban Decay. 
And the good thing about looks like this is you don't have to worry about getting mascara on your lid. It's really just to coat your lashes, especially if you have blonde ones like mine. Okay, I forgot to put on my black liquid liner. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in with my Jessie's Girl liquid liner and I'm going to put on some liquid liner. You're not even really going to be able to see it. It's just to kind of deepen up that lash line even more. Okay, now that that's on. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot to do it. I was like, uh, shoot, I forgot to put on my liquid liner. When I put on my liquid liner, it, uh, it messes up my mascara, so just separate the lash a little bit. Because this look is so blown out, you need some seriously long lashes. So I have a couple to choose from. I have my Red Cherry 43 and my Red Cherry 523. So they're both kind of flared lashes, but this one's kind of shorter and more um, tapered here. And this one's kind of just huge all around. So I think I'm actually going to go for the 523s. I'm going to pop them on and then I'm going to be right back. Okay, so now the lashes are on. I'm just going to throw a little bit of bottom lash mascara from Clinique on. Gonna load a ton on. Okay, so to add a little bit of extra, not that we need any more extra on this look, I'm going to add a tiny bit of black glitter. This is from OCC. This is called Blaylock. So we're gonna add a little bit of that to our lid. You guys think I'm like so over the top, but this is, this is an over the top look. So I'm gonna take my lit glitter base, you know it's my holy grail. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my middle finger and I'm going to place it here. right on my lid. Dip my finger in the glitter. Now this glitter isn't a traditional glitter. It's more it's more going to give your lid like a wet a black wet look, you know what I mean? Okay, what I'm going to do now is just clean up my face, put on my foundation and I'll be right back. Woo, get kind of a different picture when you zoom out, don't ya? <laughs> Okay, so the eyes are finally done. I put my foundation on and I did powder with my Serenity Scott Press Powder Foundation. Now we're going to do some contouring. Uh, okay, I'm going to go for more of a dramatic contour on the cheeks because this is kind of a dramatic look and I don't, everything's got to tie in, you know, everything. So I'm using my, look at my NYX blush and taupe. It's so pathetic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab this Sigma, whatever it is, Sigma Small Contour Brush. And cover out my cheekbones. I go to the line and then I pull up. What I normally do with tutorials is I will do a tutorial and then I will film after. Um, this is kind of a heavy look to film after, but whatever. I gotta figure out something to film after this. Oh, got a little bit up here on my hairline. Okay, I want to use my, my Tarte uh, Pin Up Girl palette, so I'm trying to see what blush would look best with this. Thinking this one. I don't know the name, it's the one on the end. <laughs> Ooh, these are pigmented, so just lightly, lightly, lightly. There barely any people. Ooh, those are pigmented. I'm actually going to go over it with my Tarte Blush and Exposed. And now I'm going to take my pressed powder foundation again, put a little bit on that brush, and I'm going to go over it because I'm going to totally mute it out. For my highlight, I'm going to go for NARS Blush and Albatross. I haven't used this in a while, so I figured I'd get it out. Okay, and for lips, uh, oh my goodness, you could do a lot with these. I'm going to try, you know what, I'm going to go full on goth. I'm going to go full on goth with this one. Uh, I'm going to go for black, black lips. That's it. Ooh. I'm going to start with the same lip liner I used on my eyes, but I'm going to go sharpen it and sterilize it, so I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay, we're all good to go. So let's go for some full on black lips. I mean, you could do nude with this or bright pink, but if we're going to go goth, let's just go goth, right? Like full on. Why is black lip liner so nerve wracking? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my Lime Crime Velveteen in Black Velvet. Now be very careful with this because once it's on, it's on and it's very liquidy at first, but it dries matte. Just let this dry. Don't talk while it's drying. Just let it dry. Let it dry. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, it's very uh, gothic and vampire-y. <laughs> kind of vampire -y. It's very blown out. And uh, it's great for Halloween or if you're just feeling super daring and you want to wear a big blackish purple smoky eye. It's obviously not for everybody, but you guys know I love to wear wild makeup. Yes, I went and actually just styled my hair. I just filmed a tutorial on how I style my hair and that should be up later in the week. If you guys recreate this look in any way, just tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of my social media. You guys know how to find me. Everything is always linked below. If you guys enjoyed this look, just go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Lily says bye guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Lily!